Hello, it is Wednesday and I am working today. I'm all set up with the desk in the bedroom, surrounded by chaos because we're dismantling all the wardrobes. And it's now about half past 11. It's a really windy day and there's wind whistling down the chimney behind me. There's also a clothes rack behind me because it's the only place for it to go because of the mess created by the dismantling of all the wardrobes. I think I sound like a broken record now. Um, talking about wardrobes. Uh, so not much to film today because it's the first full day working I've had in weeks. I had to uh, juggle work with homeschool which meant I've been doing half days, it's been a nightmare so this is my first full day and I've had my head down for the last two and a half hours and it's been brilliant to just be able to properly think and catch up. I'm so happy and I'm even going to go into the museum where I work on Friday to pick up a couple of bits and I need to take some photos for social media and I've been roped into doing a video for the for our YouTube channel as well which I got really nervous about and then Dan pointed out I'm doing it every day <laughs> but it's different because it's work so I don't know um, anyway that's an aside I, I was about to, I've got really really behind on comments um, and I've been reading them and um, going through them and I like to take them in properly and for that reason I think sometimes I get a bit behind because I like to give myself the time to read them um, and I thought as I went through checking them I might respond to any questions that I've got and that might be quite a fun thing to do so that's what I'm going to do now so I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who um, gave me ideas for what to do with the artwork I, I, there's a box right here for where I was clearing out the wardrobes I've said it again um, full of pictures and things that have never been hung up since we moved in six years ago and I wasn't sure what to do with them and so many of you have given me the confidence now to create a gallery wall e either in the bedroom here or in our stairwell or maybe somewhere downstairs um, so I'm going to have a real good think about that and a lot of you gave me advice as to how to create that and you know laying it out on the floor first and working it out with bits of paper so I just want to say thank you to everybody who um, gave me advice on that that gave me a bit of a, a confidence boost with creating it thank you to everybody as well who recommended books after we did our little favorite books one on I think it was day six was it day six no day five I think it was we talked about favorite books and so many of you have recommended books for ours or for the kids and I've been writing them all down I've got my notebook here where I where I drop it and everything falls out this little tag here is to take me to the page where I write down recommendations for anything patterns cooking recipes books anything goes in here so I can refer back to it so thank you to everyone that has been recommending books and thank you to everybody who was so nice about the cowl I made I'm saying thank you now because I find it hard to reply every day because I'm usually editing when I would usually be checking comments so it kind of it's a bit of a catch-22 situation. I love reading them though. I just, I wish I had all day. I could just sit and do this all day. It's so fun. Okay, Christine has asked, what vegetarian sausages do you enjoy? Um, we'd like to give them a try. So we, and Christine, you're in Kent as well. So I know that you can get whatever we get. You can pop to your local supermarket. Um, we really like the corn cocktail sausages for like lunches and things. You can eat, you can heat them up like normal cocktail sausages or eat them straight from the packet and they're a really lovely snack. In fact, the corn cocktail sausages are nicer than real cocktail sausages because there's no, none of the horrible grisly bits and things that you get in the normal ones. It's just lovely and they're so full of flavour. And if we're having like something like sausage and mash, uh, we get Yorkshire, uh, Yorkshire, I'm thinking of tea, Richmond sausages. So we always have Richmond sausages for the meat eaters in the house, but Richmond sausages also do Richmond meat-free sausages. And honestly, we can't tell the difference. In fact, if I cook them, obviously I cook them on two different trays, I have to put a bit of foil or something on one of the trays because otherwise when I take them out the oven I always forget which is which and they look identical <laughs> so yeah I'd say Richmond sausages um, and we've tried a lot of them we've tried Linda McCartney we've tried corn sausages we've tried all kinds of other brands uh, but we always come back to the Richmond ones and those are the ones that Phoebe likes the best. Vida 
Hi Beza has asked if I'm planning to do a snail mail swap again and this is something I've done before on my other channel Little Drops of Wonderful. Um, yes I would like to do that again. Now the kids are back at school I have a bit more space in my head to think about these things and how I would do it. I probably won't do it until a little bit later in the year. Let's get this chaos out the way first and then I'll probably do it quite manually. Um, just get people to um, share with me their email addresses and put people in touch that way that way it's not excluding anyone who's not on Instagram and yeah but I'll look into it but I definitely I definitely would like to do a snail mail swap again and if you're wondering what that is it was a really it was called the simple snail mail swap there is a hashtag for it on Instagram and it's just a really simple swap it was just you swap a letter with someone and if you want to keep writing after that you can I'm still writing to my pen pal that I got from the very first time I did it a couple of years ago um, and it's a really lovely fun swap but I'll keep you posted on this channel and on my other channel for when I decide to have the energy to do that again. I need to plug my camera in. I thought I charged it overnight but clearly not. Digestive biscuits, lots of you asking about digestive biscuits. I talked about this uh, yesterday in the day nine vlog so hop, uh, hop back to there and have a look at day nine for an explanation on digestive biscuits. Ria has said thank you for putting the music um, artist and song titles in the description box which is something I've recently started doing because I suddenly realised that might be helpful. So I get all my music for my vlogs from Epidemic Sound. I pay a subscription for it which means I don't I can use them and uh, don't have to worry about copyright. Uh, so I pay for that and I get access to a huge library of music. But I've started putting the artist and the song titles right at the bottom in the description box underneath. Uh, and most of the time you can find the music on Spotify if you want to listen to it. So if you like a particular piece of music or song, um, make sure you check out the description box because I, I will put the details underneath. So sharing the love, go and find some nice music to listen to. Margaret has asked, was the photo of the mermaid on the rock you showed when cleaning out your wardrobe taken in Vancouver? Now, did I mention we were dismantling the wardrobes? <laughs> I had a, some photos stuck up that I took down. Hang on a minute, I'll grab it. Oh, now, in answer to your question, no, it's not in Vancouver, although I'd love to go to Canada one day. We have um, my side, of, my mum's side of the family has um, Canadian connections and I would love to visit. I've got, um, my mum's cousin lives in Canada. I'd love to go and visit him one day, I've never met him. But no, the, the Mermaid on the Rock was taken in Copenhagen. This is the picture that Margaret's referring to. See the Mermaid on the Rock? And that is the famous statue in Copenhagen of Hans Christian Andersen's Little Mermaid. Um, it's very much a tourist place to go and visit. There were loads of people there that day, it was pre-Covid of course. Um, and it was really wonderful. It had been a dream of mine for a long, long time to go to Denmark to visit Copenhagen and that was one of the iconic places to visit. I couldn't quite believe I was there. So not Vancouver, but beautiful, well, not beautiful Vancouver, but beautiful Copenhagen. Jan and Shelley. Hi Jan and Shelley. You both asked about the scanner I used. I think this was on day eight. I went shopping, I popped to Asda, our local supermarket, and I picked up a, a scanner. Uh, it didn't occur to me that um, that might not happen in other countries. Yes, we can self-scan items. It's been a thing here for a few years now. Um, you pick up, you put in your, you have to register, uh, and you do it slightly differently depending on which supermarket you're going to. You put in your details when you go into the shop, uh, it tells you which handset to take, and you go around scanning the items, and then you go to a specific bit at the end where the the information from the scanner is put onto the till, it loads up and then they do random security checks. So you might get picked, I don't know, one in three times and someone will come and scan 10 items to check that you've not missed anything. It works really well um, and it means sort of less queuing and less contact with people really. I really, really like doing it. Uh, sometimes they don't work or they run out or there's a glitch or something, but on the whole, we do try to grab the self scanner when we go to the supermarket. Yeah, so do other countries have that as well? Is it just the UK? Let me know in the comments. I'd be really interested to hear. Um, I just want to say huge congratulations to Julie in Tasmania. Her grandson, Theodore, was born 
yesterday on uh, uh no not yesterday sorry on day eight which was monday on international women's day so welcome to the world theodore well done <laughs> Okay, June says, um, I was wondering if you could talk about the noise anxiety you've mentioned. Um, yeah, I can talk about it very briefly because I don't want to take too long up with me just jabbering on at you. I want to go and film something more interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I would say that 99% of the anxiety I experience, and I do experience anxiety in some form every day, comes from worrying about noise, which has probably built up over years. Um, we've, we haven't been very fortunate, you know, sometimes with neighbors. Um, our neighbors at the moment are absolutely lovely. Honestly, they are. Uh, but I'm just very paranoid about it. And um, Dan certainly doesn't get as hit up as I do. So I know that I'm over reacting. I know that. Um, I, I just struggle a lot with it. Um, it's something I try to deal with and make sense of and put into perspective. And I do that by using the trackers that I've talked about before. I have a noise tracker so that over the course of a few months, I can look back and actually say, in terms of levels of noise, it only happened say three times in three months and it really wasn't that bad. Or if it was bad, it was only once. And that helps me to put it into perspective a bit. We have a social club opposite our house, which is used for the local nursery you know, uh, over 60s yoga, that kind of thing, like like a village hall. But occasionally they hire it out for parties and they haven't been able to do that for the past year. So for me, that's just marvellous because otherwise every Saturday from like 10 o'clock in the morning until evening, I'd be worrying, will there be a party going on? Will they have a band? Will there be something that's where I can hear the faint, distant noise of music? Um, that kind of infiltration into my safe little home world I find very difficult to deal with uh, and my ultimate dream is to live in a house where my walls are not attached to other people uh, and that that's just not so much of an issue for me um, but maybe perhaps I just need to man up <laughs> I went down and grabbed my tracker rather than just telling you I thought I'd show you okay so for example it's really basic it's not beautiful or bullet journal worthy or anything like that it's just got the a calendar and those little pink bits are where there's been noise. I haven't actually marked all the noise because some of it I could just put down to the neighbours have been doing DIY but then so have we. So uh, yeah, I can look back now and go over the past February and March there's been three incidents and I've got a little code so I can say it was over quickly and not too bad or it was annoying but it didn't go on too long or it, uh, the third one is it lasted a while and it was quite upsetting. But when you look at it like that, it does put it into perspective a bit. So that's what I do to try and keep my anxiety in check a bit. I've had a question from Denise, who is Dear Designs. Um, I'm probably going to send you a link via Ravelry, Denise, but I just wanted to talk about this on the blog as well. She's asked how I get my footage from my camera to the iPad to edit. Um, and the way I do it, I've only worked this out recently. So I've got a Sony CyberShot, which has a little um, memory card in it. And I bought one of these from Amazon. This is what it looks like. I will link it underneath, but I'll also send you a link. Um, I don't know why I'm showing you it. It's a piece of equipment. <laughs> and, and it is a little card reader. So you put your memory card in here and you plug it into your iPad give it a few seconds and when you go into your picture library it will come up as a utility or an extra drive or something and then you can select the videos that you want to import and it will just import it it's so much quicker than any other method I've ever used but I'll send you a link personally um, via Ravelry Denise and if I don't just give me a nudge and I'll to remind me right I'm just continue continuing to look through and there's quite a few questions about the garlic crusher that I was using in yesterday's vlog on day nine um, it's a little plate I've actually got two of them um, and I bought them at a market in Ousses in the south of France years ago they were a big thing for ages at that particular market every time we went there um, they had them so I've got a couple and you basically rub the garlic it's the, the plate is kind of it's a ceramic plate and it's got serrated bits uh, and you rub the garlic across it and it basically crushes it. You get garlicky fingers, but you know, when we're in lockdown, who's going to know? <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, and I've just used it ever since. I really, really like it. Um, I don't know if you can get them here. I've never Googled it to see, but I would imagine there must be a ceramic person on Etsy or something that makes a garlic plate. So um, that's what I was using to crush the garlic. That's what I use every time we have garlic, which is quite a lot because I like garlic a lot. I'm all caught up. Let me just press refresh to make sure that that's true. I'm all caught up, but there was one more from Sandra saying your quiet, your how quiet your house was today, um, and that was on yesterday's vlog. Yes, it was. It was brilliant. I was so tired yesterday, but I didn't have to do anything much. I I purposely gave myself just the day to sit crochet and not do much at all obviously I'm working today so I'm going to go and get back to it first I'm going to go and have some lunch I'm going to have some homemade soup that I've taken out of the freezer and I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for commenting I'm sorry I can't reply to everyone at the moment I normally would try to on a normal vlog but it's just too hard to keep on top of day to day on daily vlogs but I read every single one and I appreciate them so much it feels like having a lovely continued chat throughout the whole month with people who just like the same things I do and you're into the same thing it's just it's wonderful so thank you so so much yeah and keep on liking the videos keep on telling your friends I don't, you wouldn't tell your friends randomly about a youtube video keep on subscribing pressing the notification bell interacting with the channel because it really really helps it get out there and get it noticed and if i have more subscribers um it means i can keep doing it and i love doing it and i love chatting with you so you're all thinking shut up <laughs> go and get some lunch okay I've been beavering away for the last few hours it's now coming up for about quarter to three so I'm gonna go and get my boots on and head out into the incredibly wet and windy weather to go and pick up Phoebe Dan and I are gonna go together I've been asked a few times if we always walk yes we do it's a really busy road where the schools are and quite um, when it's rainy like this more and more people drive but it's only a 10 minute walk and we don't mind a bit of rain and I would rather walk in the rain than get stuck in all that traffic and stress. So we're going to put our waterproofs on, get an umbrella and walk. Um, I feel like today's going to be really boring. It's literally just me wittering on at a desk. I wonder if I can think of something. And then I was thinking, oh, I could do a little tour of the books in the bedroom. But of course I can't because they're all packed away. Let's just see how it all unfolds. I'm all ready to go. Well, when I, I'll be ready to go when I've got my hood up because it's horrible out there. And as you can see, there's the concrete. It's all done. Unfortunately, it all dried before the rain came today. I had a good four days to go off. But obviously, this is not the weather for putting up our new garden sofa. So everything's still a complete mess out there. And we'll wait for better weather, hopefully at the weekend, and we can put it together. We are back from a very wet and blustery school run. I'm going to make Dan and I a TikTok tea. Uh, I don't like drinking caffeine really in the afternoons. So we have TikTok rooibos tea, which I find is a really nice alternative. I really like it. So I brew it for four minutes and drink it with milk. I'm going to use ooh, this lovely mug. I bought this in Wilkinson's or Wilco's, depending on what you call it, ages ago. I wish I'd got a couple because it's my favourite mug for herbal teas usually, but I'm going to have it for my Roy Boss today. Dan can have his Guinness mug. And the girls are going to have a treat. They're going to have a hot chocolate in Lydia's going to have her Pusheen mug. She always has the hot chocolate. And Phoebe has got her cute little cat mug for her hot chocolate. And, of course, if you're having hot chocolate, you have to have Cadbury. So I'm going to put that together and then I'm going back upstairs to finish work for the day. It's about 20, no it's not, it's about, yeah, about 20 past three now. 
So I shall serve the drinks and then go and head back upstairs and probably get about another hour or so work done. It's just, I know I've said it a million times today, but it's just been so good having the time to concentrate. So the girls are gonna have marshmallows with their hot chocolate. And Phoebe's vegetarian or pescatarian, so she can't usually eat marshmallows because they've got um, gelatin in them. But Aldi's often have these, the veggie mallows, and they are not made with gelatin. I think they are instead made with some kind of syrup or something. I don't know. I don't know why I started to think I could tell you because I don't know. So that's what they're going to have now. It's about half past five. Lily has got her on her Zoom, her flute lesson shortly, but she's doing it on Zoom at the moment until after Easter. I'm exhausted and I feel worn out and hormonal. My house is full of boxes and I think Phoebe is feeling just about the same, aren't you, Phoebes? So I don't want to, but I'm gonna do a workout and Phoebe She's dragged me a lot. has very gallantly agreed to join me because we think it's gonna cheer up cheer us up and I think sometimes self-care isn't just hot baths and sitting down with some crochet. Sometimes self-care is sweating it out and releasing some endorphins and doing something that's good for your body. So that's what we're gonna do. So here's us before. <laughs> This is us afterwards. How are you feeling now, Phoebe? I feel a bit better. I feel um, a bit better. I was, I was feeling not great when we started and I feel a bit better. We just did a 15 minute full body hit with Joe Weeks. I will try and find it and put the link underneath if you're interested. It was 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off and that 45 seconds seemed long. So we're gonna go and do some stretching now and get some water. We've done our stretching and I realised that I wanted to tell you what the song of the day was and seeing as Phoebe is here and it's been all my face today, it's been very boring Phoebe, maybe Phoebe could introduce the song. The song is Out of Reach by Gabrielle because Gabrielle was on The Masked Singer and Out of Reach was one of her clues. That's why, yeah. And also it reminds me of times, times gone by that song does. So enjoy. Enjoy Out of Reach by Gabrielle. <laughs>